Hey Gary. Hey Pat. Welcome to Terracycle Man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Here we are in Portland with Pat Franz. Let me uh, let me hop off and say hi properly. Yeah. Come on in. All right. Pat's going to take us on in. Show us Terracycle. We're, we're getting ready for coming cycle cons. So we got a new backdrop here. Yeah. yeah. You guys will be seeing that yeah. shortly. Come on in here. The main shop here. Main production floor here. Um, milling machine there, CNC lathe there, another milling machine behind it. Um, inventory over there, there's raw material back there. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Upstairs. This is where we work all day long, making parts for you. Hey, here we are in the office at TerraCycle. Who we got? Uh, my name's Kaz. Uh, I'm Rowan. I don't usually spend time in here, but I'm in here anyway. That's, that's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike. So now, what do we have in this section of inventory? Uh, this is just a little bit of inventory here. Uh, we make a lot of different clamps, as everybody knows. All kinds of clamps. That's a T-clamp from 7.8 to 7.8. All the pieces to assemble them together. We always have, you know, some pre-assembled. These are partially assembled because when you insert this into a tube, you need to tighten that bolt. To tighten that bolt, you need this open. So we assemble it as far as we can. And then when we you know, are assembling a seat mount or something like that, we put that in there, tighten that down, put the other bolt in, and then it's complete. But okay. now we've got all the all different pieces here that we machine from bars of aluminum, turn them into parts like this, um, you know, kinds of little We've taken to engraving everything as we make it so that we can tell all the parts apart. Right, oh, that's uh, good. This is 7 eighths going in a .065 wall tube, so we want to make sure Pick it that's up, the right one. Pick it up, look at it, and you know. You, you, well, you know, and you don't make a mistake that we make another one for .049 wall tubing, and it's just a little bit yeah. different, and it's hard it to tell. It beats eyeballing it, though. Oh, it so. beats the heck out of eyeballing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've got a machine that can, you know, can mill, so right. we just put a little bit in there and engrave with it. So. Absolutely. Uh, then we don't have to worry about it because when we when we make these, we'll make hundreds at a time, and we'll throw them in the parts tumbler and tumble them around. And if two or three get lost in the bottom of the tumbler, you don't know what they are. It, you could pull them out with the next set of parts, and you couldn't tell them apart. So you got to be able to tell them apart. Sure. So, all right. And you showed is. all the tubes on this side. We got all kinds of tubes. You know, different. Different bend angles and lengths and things like that. Um, straight ones in all kinds of different lengths. Lots of different clamps of all kinds. Uh, back in the right place there. But um, yeah, all kinds of pieces that we put together, depending on what somebody orders. Um, we have a, a build sheet for every product, and we just come back and pull, 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 and assemble. Makes sense. Uh, and then around this end, there's some, a lot of people are interested in, the newest thing that you got going right now, of course. Uh, yes, fine recliner headrests. Memory foam inside, soft nylon cover on the outside. Very, very comfortable and uh, super adjustable mounts. And we've yeah, done those several. Are, those are some changes that you made to this, yes? Yeah, we, we've done several upgrades to the mounts because Steve did not have a shop like this at all. So we've right. got lots of CNC machines and we can make you know, exactly the part you want. Like we make our own shims that have little lips on them so that when you assemble the clamp on there, you can slide everything around and the shim doesn't come falling out. Right. It right. just makes it a little bit easier to assemble. So we okay. like that kind of stuff. All right. These are all battery mount things here. We do tons and tons of battery mounts. Um, lots of different options on battery mounts. Everybody, Pat, what is this? This is how we blow fairings. This is a fairing blowing oven uh, with a preform for holding the Lexan in the right basic shape, and then we blow it up and out from there in about a 15 minute cycle. Garage door opener. Yeah, that's All right, well, this is our uh, shear, it's a 1952 model. 
shear. And we got this shear because the only place in town that would shear titanium for us had this shear. And when they downsized and moved out into the country, we bought their shear from them. So here's our shear. Fired up, we've got some scraps of aluminum here. Slide it in, and if you want to do the honors and press the, the pedal there, Gary. The pedal? Oh yeah, so let me show you right there. Wow, yeah. Pat, what do we have here? Howdy, well this is our Morisaki Machining Center right here. We do, most of our parts come off of this. Uh, more and more parts are coming off to do Haas Lathe, but uh, this is uh, the workhorse of our shop. So today we're taking these two and a half inch square blanks of 7075 aluminum sheet and we are turning them into cogs for sport idlers. These are the idlers that go on cat trikes and stuff like that. So we make lots and lots of these at a time. Um, a little interior view here. So the blanks go in the front and they get the, uh, the hole in the middle for the bearings and the holes for the bolts. And then they go in the back where they get the teeth cut and the bevel. And that's the beveling tool that's in there right now. So we'll fire that back up and finish the beveling run. Green press, button. Press the green button. So that's a specially made cutter that we made that bevels both sides of it at once. One more tool to watch the oh, yeah, tool yeah. change here. It's pretty, okay. pretty interesting. And then it brings up another tool. This is a boring bar. And uh, we bore the hole in the middle of the cog very, very precisely so we can press fit the bearing carrier into it. And the, the press fits have to be really, really exact within a few tenths, tenths of a uh, uh, ten thousandths of an inch um, to get it to, to press fit properly. Do you uh, recover the coolant and use it again? Yeah, the, the coolant goes down into tanks. It, it goes through some filtering grates, goes down in the tank, and gets pumped back up again. And here we go. There's seven finished items and seven ready to. So we'll remove we'll these to the back, put fresh ones in the front, and come on and do it. Very cool. Mori Siki. Morisaki, yes. Or what do you guys call it? I saw, oh, the door's open. It said, uh, what does that say? Uh, more efficient. <laughs> Great. So go ahead and come over here. All right. It's just uh, so there's the starting. Pulling out another piece. off the excess material off the outside to rough in the shape. Yeah. I guess it's this way. Okay, I can see coming out. And the speeding up and slowing down you're hearing is it automatically compensates for the diameter cutting out. Okay. You you tell it you want a certain in, yeah. a certain surface feet per minute and it knows that if it's smaller it needs to spin it faster to get that same speed. Okay. Because all the, the carbide inserts that are cutting this are all optimized for certain speeds and speeds. There goes the fruit juice. Drill in the end there. But you notice it, it, it rotates around to the next station, drills that hole, rotates the next one, rotates the next one. And 
I'm going to tap the holes. I was tapped holes. <laughs> So it's coordinating the rotating this way with going up and down Different that way. Is that with cooling on right now? Or, uh, having the cooling on would cut down the shrieking. Oh, oh, there's making wool. The, yeah. And it puts little flats on there and that Something does one and rotates, does another and does another. I guess it was doing these first. Uh, that? That's not the what? Thousand pound in one so much. Most of it leaves as chips. Oh, the parts so catcher. Yeah. Oh, the finished part pops right out the door. Wow. Put your quarter in. <laughs> push your quarter in, well, put your quarter million in, and then you, yeah. get, you get a part like that. That's cool. Wow. So that's, that's a now. four bolt T clamp that's going to hold two 7 8 tubes together at 90 degrees. So. Very nice. About five yeah. minutes, seemed like. About five minutes, yeah. Off to lunch <laughs> with pet friends. That's got that final recliner on there. You can see the kind of, not exactly circle that my feet go in with the pedal swings. Yeah, these are those. What are those called? Pedal swings. I call them Easy D's pedal swings. Easy D's. 